clicked. All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sriram, and this is my colleague Chandan, uh, one of our colleagues, Sharath, who could not, unfortunately, could not make it. Uh, we are here to talk about how you can build a healthy network for your cloud uh, using Silometer, Nova, and Neutron. We will have time for QA, and you can use the mics so that the recording can capture the questions and our answers. So we will uh, that will be at the end of the presentation. Um, in OpenStack, Nova has the responsibility to choose a, an optimal host while creating instances. Uh, it does it by walking through all the hosts and selecting based on various criteria. For example, if you have a compute requirement, uh, then Nova will check if the ho a particular host has sufficient CPU or RAM. If it doesn't have that, it will ignore that host from while placing the instance. Similarly for storage, uh, if you don't have sufficient storage, NOAA will choose to ignore a particular host while placing the workload. But when it comes to networking, things change a little bit. If your host doesn't have network connectivity, NOAA doesn't look at that aspect and still considers the uh, host for placing an instance or creating an instance. What this will lead to is an uh, instance which gets created on a host, uh, which will eventually not have network connecti connectivity right at startup. In this talk, we are going to share with you a solution on how you can solve this problem and make your uh, instance creation and workload placement more network aware. We'll start with an overview of Nova Scheduler and then take you through how Neutron and Silometer work together with Nova to solve this problem. So in OpenStack, Nova, as I said, you know, takes care of placing the VMs. It uses something called a scheduler and a filter to figure out which are all the hosts that match a particular requirement. And it can be customized by the end user by writing their own custom filters and entering the filter in the uh, nova.conf file. Here is an example of all the default filters that are shipped uh, with OpenStack. And it's this, this uh, value is configured in nova.conf. I've taken an example of one such filter which comes bundled with OpenStack, where basically it is looking for an exact disk space match. The key function to look out for here is the host passes. So when you write a custom filter, you will have to implement that method, and it will return a value back to Nova, which will tell whether this host is a good candidate for placing a workload or not. And you can see in this example, it is looking to see whether the requested disk space while placing a work workload matches the available disk space on the particular host. There are various other kinds of filters for you know, lesser, greater than availability and things like that. So let's see now what happens, uh, you know, what are the challenges uh, that happen in a network that really impact uh, the workload placement. So in a physical, this is a, uh, a sample diagram we have taken to network topology, which is it's very commonly uh, deployed everywhere. So we have compute nodes that are connected to top of the rack switches, and these top of the rack switches are further connected to a core switch at the aggregation layer. Uh, we can see that there are multiple levels of network devices. So the failure points are already, you know, more than, very easy to see that there are multiple failure points. So network congestion, port status being up or down, or bandwidth utilization, all of these factors can impact the quality of connectivity available for an instance. NOVA can leverage the physical characteristics of a hypervisor, for example, RAM, CPU, like we talked about earlier. But today, there is no way to leverage a physical network characteristics. And this is where we are trying to bring in a solution where Neutron can be leveraged in addition to Nova and Silometer. And physic the critical attributes of a physical network can be taken into account while placing a workload in an optimal fashion. So I'm going to hand it over to my colleague Chandan to walk you through the details of the solution. Hello, everyone. I'm Chandan. And uh, I'll take you through the solution that we have implemented. Uh, OK, so first part of the problem to make uh, NOVA or OpenStack as a whole aware of the network-related challenges is to make 
sure that OpenStack knows about the physical network connectivity. So to solve the physical network connectivity uh, knowledge problem, what we have introduced is an extension. This extensions, uh, extension is uh, made to uh, Neutron, and with the help of this extension, we can store and retrieve uh, physical network connectivity links uh, on Neutron. So uh, if you can see on the slide, we show you two, uh, two ways of retrieving information. Uh, one which retrieves the whole set of uh, topology information, connectivity information in one shot. The other one is to uh, give uh, a query one endpoint at a time and get the link state. So once this uh, network information or the physical connectivity information is stored with Neutron, the next part of the problem comes into picture, which is now that we know about the physical network, how do we uh, actually capture the utilization or uh, bandwidth or uh, various network characteristics that we have in the physical network and store it with OpenStack. This is where Silometer comes into picture. So Silometer is the default telemetry service in OpenStack and it, uh, it provides the metering service. You can store metering information about various physical and uh, virtual resources in Silometer. As with any other uh, OpenStack service, uh, it provides a uh, REST-based API, which can be used to store and uh, retrieve uh, metering information, and it uh, suits perfectly for our, uh, our uh, use case. Uh, the way Silometer uh, stores information about uh, any resource is it associates a meter with the resource, and then uh, it collects samples of uh, the utilization of the resource and stores it as a time series. So, Going forward, again, we, we come back to the same image, uh, which shows the typical installation of uh, OpenStack and how it connects to uh, uh, various levels of switches. You have DOT, you have the core switch. And let's now look at what are the, what are the uh, various uh, attributes that, uh, of, of a physical network that will impact the connectivity of a VM that you place in any of the compute nodes in the bottom side. So at the first level, you can see uh, all the compute nodes are connected to the TOR, TOR switches. So now if I place any VM on any of the compute node, it actually depends on uh, the fact that how, uh, how much of bandwidth is actually available on the uh, access port, whether the access port connectivity is even there, if it is up or down. Similarly, you can see uh, the second stage of uh, uh, network attributes that come into picture is the uplink port from the TOR to the core switch. Again, we have to see the network connectivity, congestion, and uh, bandwidth available with the uplink port. Various other uh, network characteristics which are part, uh, which, then, uh, which are uh, inherent to a physical network like uh, network congestion, various uh, paths that you have to reach the core switch will also impact this decision. So these are all the KPIs that we would like to collect about the network and uh, provide this information to Nova so that he can make a uh, good decision about where to place the VM. Okay, so now that we have talked about some of the characteristics of the network that we want to store in Silometer, we would like to uh, present to you uh, a simple use case where we try to capture one of the meters uh, and store it in Silometer. If you look at this use case, you'll see that we have defined a very generic uh, meter, like switch port state, and uh, the resource uh, metadata is the field that we use to capture the exact, uh, exact uh, characteristics of the in instance. So in this case, it is the switch port uh, details that we pass as the resource metadata. Silometer is actually good at capturing uh, various resource and giving you a uh, aggregate output of that resource over time. But for our, uh, for our uh, use case, we need two kinds of uh, uh, information. First part is raw meters that we will use to filter out various uh, hosts. So let's take an example of a switch port, which is down. So immediately we can say that a, switch, a compute node that is connected to this switch port should not be part of, uh, play, uh, part of scheduling a VM. This can be derived from any, uh, uh, from the raw meters that we have connected. The other part is where we would like to rank the host as uh, based on the network health. 
So suppose there are five hosts and the first one is having uh, the best network uh, bandwidth uh, available to it. We would obviously like to place the VM on the first host. So that is where the second part of the information comes into picture, where we calculate a network health score, which we are calling NHS. And this is, uh, this is the part where we bring in another component, which is the network health monitor agent. The work of this agent is to go through all the uh, individual meters that we have collected and kept in silo meter and create a composite score, health score, that will be easily consumed by NOVA for ranking of uh, compute nodes. So to recap the solution, uh, we have three parts here. First part is to make OpenStack aware of the physical network at, uh, connectivity. The second part is collecting various attributes of this physical network and storing, storing it somewhere. That is where Silometer came into picture. And the third part is the network agent, which actually aggregates all this uh, various meters into a composite health score, which is consumed and is used for ranking the various compute nodes. So bringing it all together, we have something called a network aware filter. So this is a filter and, uh, it, that we are adding to uh, NOVA scheduler, and it has two parts. You can look at, uh, look at the diagram. One is the network filter part, which we talked about, uh, which will be able to filter out hosts based on raw meters, like port up, down, or zero bandwidth available, over committing bandwidth, uh, bandwidth on a port. These are the kind of attributes that we'll look at in the filter part of it. The second part is the weight part, which takes care of ranking the compute node based on the network health of the compute node. So this is where uh, we talked about uh, network health score that will be computed by a network uh, health agent. So, uh, so in, this, in this slide, we are talking about the various components that will, will interact with each other and how the flow of action will happen. So if you look at the first step, when the user adds physical network details to Neutron through the physical network APIs, it will trigger a, a periodic action. The, the periodic action is for Neutron to, ex, uh, to extract all the physical network information uh, for the, sorry, uh, for the network health monitor to extract all the physical network information from Neutron and start a periodic action of collecting uh, details about this network uh, attributes for the physical network links that we have just uh, received from Neutron. The second step comes into picture when a user tries to um, schedule a VM. So at this point, NOVA is going to query the network health monitor, and the network health monitor is going to look at Silometer, come back, come back with a composite score, which will be used to rank the various uh, compute nodes. So this was a simple case of uh, placing uh, VM uh, on uh, compute node based on the network health score. But we can extend this idea a little bit further and make this, uh, uh, make the feature of network flavors available to user. What this does is it will give the end user a uh, knob which he can tune and say uh, this is the kind of network uh, resources that I need for, the uh, for placing my VMs and that can be used as a predicate. When uh, the scheduler goes through various uh, compute node and it will, it will be able to check and give you a uh, network uh, uh, or a compute node which fits all your networking needs. Another use case is uh, while live migrating, if you have a VM which requests a certain kind of network connectivity, the live migration will also trigger this kind of uh, network-based selection of compute nodes. So uh, to, uh, to go further, we have a simple demo uh, where uh, we'll see uh, two cases. Uh, for, our, uh, for our demo, we have, take, uh, we have taken a very simple case. We have one single node, which is acting as a compute node. And uh, what happens is we try to place a VM on that. And depending on if the compute node's uplink connectivity is up or down, the VM can be placed or rejected from that compute node. 
So uh, this is uh, this is showing the normal uh, course of action, and if you look at the next slide, uh, this is what happens uh, when the port is down. The scheduler is going to reject this compute node. So I'll play a, a small video which captures this. Yeah. So the video starts with a normal uh, workflow. Uh, uh, we should uh, we should know that the uh, scheduler is already in place. So this is the this is the normal uh, happy case scenario where uh, the uplink port is available and the VM placement is uh, going to take place. So I'll just speed it up a bit. So you can see that the VM got placed and it's in an active state now. Now, uh, next to simulate uh, uh, network failure, what we do is we uh, inject some data in silo meter and simulate that the network uh, is now down, the, uh, the uplink port is now down. So if you look at uh, the sample that we are trying to create, we say it's a Boolean value and it says the, uh, uh, it says the port is basically down, zero means down. So once we do that, because the filter is in place, what happens is, uh, as you try to uh, create the VM, the scheduler will go through all the, all, all the compute nodes and because we have only one of them here, uh, it comes to a state where it says no further host found because your networking needs are not matched by any of this uh, compute node. So this is uh, basically what we wanted to speak about in the, in the presentation. Basically, making Nova and OpenStack aware of the networking uh, requirement of a workload. Uh, that's all we had. If you have any questions, uh, we could be ready to answer for you. Okay. Great. Thank you, folks. Thanks for coming.